it's Bryony here, speech and language therapist at Salt by the Sea, coming at you with cake today. Uh, not real cake, sadly, although as soon as I sort that out, you know, cake through video, you know I'm gonna be there for you. Um, but actually, we're bringing Play-Doh cake today. We're gonna make some Play-Doh cupcakes. Not only because today is the seven year birthday of my business, but also because loads of the kids that I work with love this activity, making, birthday cupcakes out of Play-Doh and then singing a little song is really great for practicing, sharing some imagination together, developing language skills, and also learning about sequencing and being able to tell a simple story. So today I'm gonna to share with you how I might introduce a topic of playing Play-Doh cupcake making together, and also the extra tools that I add into this to make the most of this learning opportunity. So stay tuned and let's get going. For this activity, you will need some cupcake cases, some party candles, and some Play-Doh, preferably in these neat, cute little pots so that you can share them around. Because what we're thinking about doing is all making our own cake, noticing what each other are doing, and being able to talk about it, maybe even sing about it. And for that, reason it's really useful to also have somewhere at the end where you can all put your cakes together. I must give a shout out to Gina Davies of Attention Autism for first introducing me to this activity idea and helping me realise how universally fun it is. So we're going to start by demonstrating the activity first. So we're going to be the adult model having a go at making the first cupcake for the children or the child to watch. I had a conversation just this week with a parent about the difficulty that we often have in introducing a new activity because when we're doing that we get into high talk mode and we want to talk through all the details of what you know how the play is going to go and what we're going to do next and who's going to do what and really that's really overwhelming especially for our children who have language difficulties and need extra help in understanding instructions so this is why i always aim to show rather than tell and this definitely applies to teaching in the classroom as well any time where we can give a demonstration rather than just talk about what we're going to do if we can show it it's much more valuable for helping our kids to understand what we're we're all collectively aiming for. So with that in mind, here we go. <clears throat> Case. Blue Play-Doh. Oh. Squeeze. Squeeze. Roll it up. Roll it up. Stick it in. Candles. One. Two. Three. A birthday cupcake. My cake's finished. So this would be the point where I might hand over to the other child and give them a kit so that they can make their own birthday cupcake. Ta-da! Once we've got all of our cupcakes collected on a tray or a plate, then it's time for us to sing a song. So we could sing, happy birthday, or happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. It's really useful in activities to have a clear ending, so no wonder we often do the little round of applause when a child finishes a puzzle or something because it gives a clear end to it. And so collecting your cakes together and then singing the birthday song and then having a big way at the end is a really clear way of finishing the activity. So next, I wanna add in some things that you might like to do if your child is beyond the stage of learning how to, to make something and follow an adult example and thinking more about building their vocabulary and their storytelling skills. So let's think about vocabulary. When you are supporting your child to extend their vocabulary, it's really worth thinking about what, the, what variety of words you can model. So within this activity, I'm thinking about how we could maybe 
make different shapes out of our cakes. We could talk about, heck, we could talk about 3D shapes. We could use some action words to talk about how we might squeeze or roll or cut with our Play-Doh. We can also talk about who might like the, the cake. And so we've got this opportunity to think about sharing and also piecing words together. Oh, yellow cake for Bryony, uh, blue cake for Rolo, and marble cake for you. The other thing I like to do with this whenever, whenever it's practical is to take photos of each stage of the build because then we can make a little comic strip of the steps of making a Play-Doh cupcake and then singing the song together, which is really great for building our ability to tell stories and tell people about what we've done. So today I've touched on a couple other things in terms of how we can use Play-Doh to extend vocabulary and introduce action words and also how we can take photos to support storytelling. I've made some complete videos on those topics so I'll link those below if you'd like to follow up on those. But for now, happy birthday to Salt by the Sea for being seven today. I hope whatever celebration might be in your month ahead, I hope you have a good time. Let let me know if you have some fun making some Play-Doh cupcakes and until next time, I'll see you around. <laughs>